What's up guys? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You guys already know who it is. I'm not even going to say it. DJ Woopig. Hope everybody is having a very productive summer and as we go into fall time I hope everybody's uh, calendar is picking up just like ours is here. I know over the next two months we've got 30 something weddings 50 something what something like that um, 50 I think around 50 events by the time you calculate weddings photo booth lighting and production gigs so uh, it's pretty busy for the next you know little bit around here I hope you guys schedule is the same seems like every time I get on Facebook whether it be uh, just to browse or you know asking questions looking for answers on one of the various various and there's a whole bunch of them Facebook groups it seems like everybody's trying to make the switch to a battery powered speaker system uh, for their ceremony in particular and that got me to thinking uh, here in Arkansas we've got a lot of venues that are super rural so they're out in the middle of nowhere we don't have a, a lot of fancy banquet hotels or, or fancy venues they're starting to get more and more prevalent uh, but for the most part a lot of our venues here are barns and their ceremony setups are located like out in the woods by a creek or a lake or something and that requires us to bring power or at least run you know two three hundred feet of extension cable which we've done before uh, and and me myself personally I've always you know I've been intrigued by a battery powered setup but if you're anything like me you're not really impressed with what's out on the market right now. Now, I know Bose has a new battery powered speaker uh, and it looks super promising. The only problem is it's expensive, A, and B, uh, we've got an entire shop full of Electro Voice sound equipment and I would hate to just buy a battery powered speaker just for a ceremony. So, my question is, how can I make what I already have mobile, battery powered, if you would? Whenever this has come up before, we've always used a, a whisper quiet generator. Whisper quiet because they're not, they're quiet or they're, they're, they're not super loud, but they're, they're not quiet either. Um, that's what we've always used. And that's worked out fine, but we still have to run about 50 foot of extension cable just so we can kind of bury that thing back behind the trees. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it, it's stupid. Heavy. It's not heavy. Let me take that back. It's not heavy. Um, but it's just the fact that, you know, now my DJ has to come here to the shop, get a generator. I have to make sure it's full of gas. That's something that you've got to do maintenance on if you don't use it all the time. Uh, sometimes the carburetors and stuff can get clogged up. Blase, blase, blase. It's just a hassle. And instead of, uh, instead of doing that, I have uh, come up with a solution. Now, I can't take 100% credit for this. I'm going to take about 50%. Uh, my friend who shall remain nameless, uh, you know, he's a great guy, and he, you know, a little bit of an older gentleman, um, he was looking for a, like, a, a battery bank solution, um, and he was browsing the internet, or saw it on Facebook, or YouTube, or wherever one day, and he came across a company called Halo, and Halo has a product called the Halo Bolt. Uh, and it looks, you know, it, it's a big battery bank. The one thing that's super intriguing about the Halo Bolt is on their commercial, they advertise that you can jump start a car off of this battery bank. Jump start a car. No lies. So he comes to me and says, hey, John, order this battery bank. It says it'll jump start a car. I could use it out. Or he's got a, uh, he's got five, 10 acres of land. He's got golf carts and, and all sorts of stuff that he can power up. Uh, it'd work out perfect for him. So I ordered the thing and you know, we kind of just forget about it. Two months later, he says, hey, John, I use that battery bank to, uh, to jump start a car. And I was like, there's no way, no way in hell that you used a battery bank to start a car. Anyway, he did. And it got me to thinking. Brian Red did a video about two months ago or so on an Omar's power bank. I believe it's like 28,000 milliamp hours or 28,000 ma, M-A-H. Um, and I was sitting here kind of going through, yeah, that seems like a pretty feasible solution. Um, but this Halo Bolt is 58,000 mAh, milliamp hours. Uh, so I'm thinking that's got to be the ticket, right? And today we're going to test it. 
Wham! This is the Halo Bolt. I got it in the very nice and sleek kind of carbon fiber finish. Uh, it looks nice. It's not very big. It's almost about the size of a microphone receiver. Uh, it's got two USB outs. It's got one, uh, you know, 120 AC DC Edison plug, you know, thing. Uh, it's got a flashlight, which is pretty cool. And then it's got this, um, it's got this port right here that you, uh, you can plug in jumper cables that come supplied with the Halo Bolt and, uh, and jump start a car. It's, it's pretty fascinating, especially that it's, uh, it's so small, really small. So we're gonna use this to power our ceremony system. And uh, I think it's gonna work, but really the only way to test it is to hook everything up in the shop and, and just go from there. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna hook up our standard ceremony rig, which is one uh, 12 or 15 inch main, a microphone kit, and, and that's it. And we're gonna power it all off this Halo Bolt. I only need it to last about an hour because for most ceremonies that we do around here, it's about 30 minutes worth of prelude music prior to the ceremony starting, and then, a long ceremony nowadays is about 30 minutes really about 20 is is what's normal around here um, so we need music for about an hour and we're gonna see if this is a solution that'll work this is gonna be cheaper than buying a, you know a brand new battery powered setup that's just another piece of a, a gear that you've got to take out with you and it sure does save on a lot of space you can throw this in your backpack and that's what uh, that's what intrigues me about it so behind me i'm going to set up uh, a 12 inch speaker uh, a microphone kit and we're going to start some music and let it play and i'll come back in an hour and see where the battery is a if it even worked b and uh and then we might just keep it going to see how long uh the music can play so i'm gonna get set up all right, so as you can see, we have our ceremony rig set up. It's simply a 12 inch uh, Electro Voice EKX 12P speaker along with the Shure BLX4R microphone receiver. That's what everyone uses generally at a wedding ceremony. You don't need very much uh, for bigger ceremonies. You might take another set of speakers out there, uh, but it's, it's, it's tracks and a preacher mic. That's it. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this whole thing turns on. You press a button, it fires up, and then I'm gonna play some music. Now, uh, wedding prelude, you know, wedding music isn't kinda as hard hitting, so it's, it's probably going to be easier on the power bank just because uh, it's not a lot of hip hop stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a happy medium. I'm gonna play some Gary Clark Jr. blues, rock and roll type stuff. Uh, at what I would consider wedding or cocktail hour volume. Um, it's not pumping dance floor volume, but it's not elevator background noise either. It's kind of a happy medium in between the two. And I'm going to show you guys the time on my phone. I'm going to go in my office, do some work, and I'm going to come back an hour later uh, and see if it's still working. Uh, if it's still running, I'm going to go back in my office until I get tired of listening to it or until it dies. Uh, and that will be the test of how long we can run this thing on battery power. So, let's do it. Alright, so, uh, Gary Clark Jr. on Spotify. We've got our Sure the BLX4R. Here's the Halo Bolt. What I've done on this side, it's got the, uh, the three-way. I've got a three-way on there that's powering the speaker and the mic. And then, of course, we have our uh, Let Your Voice EKX 12. So what I'm going to do is on the back right there, there's a power button. I'm going to hit that power button. It lights up green. Right now we've got full bars. And if we walk over here, we should be able to power this guy on. Perfect. Uh, you can't really see. All right. So our microphone kit is on. We're still on full full bars. Our speaker is on and it's all, I mean, you can see everything's connected right there. So uh, let's start some music and see what happens. Let's see here. I'm gonna turn this down before it blows my head off. Okay. All right. A little 
longer than a few minutes later. All right, I'm eating my breakfast. And if you can hear, it's uh, Spotify's kind of switched things over to like hip hop. So it's, I mean, I'm two, two rooms over and it's still plenty loud. Um, and we still got like 12 minutes to go. I haven't looked at the battery or nothing. Um, I don't know if it's like about to die, still fully charged, we shall see. But uh, at this point, it's been 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Eventually. It's uh, super bright outside, but as you can see, I'm outside and I don't know, I don't know if you can hear that. So we've got it, we've got it louder than you would have it at a ceremony and it's been going for like an hour and a half now. Um, it is on the final bar, but it's past my test of saying yes, it'll at least work for a ceremony, a cocktail hour, um, a prelude, uh, a speaker in an undisclosed location, it's going to work. Uh, and I'm just letting it play out as if uh, I'm just going to let the battery die. So we're going to continue to play music. It's been going for an hour and a half now. Uh, super impressed. Like I said, it is on, um, it is on the last bar. Uh, so I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but it's past my test. Um, we'll do a wrap up here in a second. 20 minutes later. It's still going! This is the life. A few inches later. And just like that, bam, we're done. So, we started the test at 927. Wait, 827? Started the test at 827. Wait, when did we start the test? Time out. We started our little scientific study at 827 right now. It is. 10 26 hey that's my beautiful wife if you uh if you want to take off five or so minutes for uh whatever you can but damn near two hours that's it's pretty impressive pretty impressive for something uh as small as putting it in your backpack and going um i'm impressed now i will say that like if that if if you're can I will say if you're concerned about like over voltage protection blah 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 stuff like that the halo bolt does come packed with like a bunch of stuff to keep you from burning your stuff up um, and that's all like in the manual but what I'm gonna do is in the top comment also in the description of this page I'm gonna put a link down where you can go and buy this thing I don't have any sort of deal you can just get it off Amazon it's super cheap uh, you can use it for cocktail ceremony a speaker way off um the options are really endless and a two hour runtime you can't hardly beat it 120 bucks uh that's hard to beat 120 bucks that's a pretty good deal two hours runtime um i can't really speak towards the longevity of it but maybe that's something we can kind of work in later on down the road just do a little checkup but that's gonna be it for today's video short sweet to the point i hope uh this might help some of you guys out uh you don't want to go out and spend a thousand dollars on a brand new speaker or have to carry another speaker in your kit you might as well just spend you know less than 150 bucks and have something that's going to be able to power your equipment for about two hours runtime it's pretty impressive until next time guys dj woo pig i appreciate you lots of stuff coming out in the fall once we kind of get over this busy you know uh wedding concert season for us but i appreciate you if you got an email shoot me an email dj woo pig at gmail.com always check me out on social media a lot of behind the scenes action happening there and uh yeah i'm gonna play with this thing some more we'll see you next time later